Hello! It's Christmas time, so let's all have some David Lynch themed confectionery. Yes, brew yourself a cup of damn fine coffee and have some Twin Peaks from our good friends at Poundland. You see, it's even got their corporate colours on, although there's a bit of a story to that. Inspired by the Reckin and Urkel Hills. Bullshit. This is clearly inspired by Toblerone. In fact, there's a weird legal story to this. Pull up a chair, guys. It's going to get a bit Jack and Nori. So, you are aware of Toblerone, the uh, golden, well, generally gold coloured cardboard pyramid thing that has some chocolate inside with bits of honeycomb that gets stuck in your fillings? Well, it's uh, very popular, has been for many years, but recently, oh my goodness, they reduced the number of peaks you get. So, there's like, you used to just get a big triangle and then another triangle connected to it. Now it's like a triangle and then a big gap, and then another triangle. It has reduced the frequency of the triangles, and therefore you get less of your Toblerone. People were unpleased with this situation. They took to the social medias and went, Oh, Toblerone, yeah! You know the way they always do, even though they haven't actually eaten a Toblerone for 30 fucking years. Welcome to the internet. Anyway, Poundland decided to capitalise on this bad press by producing their own Twin Peaks. Now, originally, apparently, it was going to have, like, gold-coloured... Um, uh, wrapper and stuff, but I thought, yeah, that's a little bit too on the nose. Um, now, and they did release this, but uh, yeah, it didn't go too well for old Pat, the land of Pound, because uh, Mondelez, I believe it is, Mondelez, Mondelez, yeehaw, yeehaw, could be Mondelez, so they are American, uh, the company that owned Toblerone were like, no, you are encroaching on our territory, for we have the triangular distinctive shape, and you are copying it. As I'll show you in a minute when I open this. And Poundland were like, no, we aren't. I mean, look, you're hardly even using it now, you know. You're, you've only got one every other peak. And if you look at ours, look, 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 look. They had trouble in court as well, opening one. It took an ages. We've got one along with this whole thing. And look, they're twin peaks, not just one, because they're... Inspired by the wreck in the knuckles, you're fooling nobody. Anyway, eventually, Poundland kind of backed down, and they're going to re-release these next year in a different shape, apparently. Little bit of an addendum here. One of the reasons Poundland backed down was they are a big customer of Mondelez. <laughs> they sell a lot of their confectionery. So really, they had to back down. They were going to piss off one of the people they work with, you know. Plus, Poundland sell fucking Toblerones! Like, seriously, the 150 gram ones for a pound, or is these like 180 grams? So you barely get any more. It's a very strange situation. Anyway, we should do a bit of a taste test, I suppose. I'll get it entirely out. Well, not entirely, because uh, the other half has broken in half. All the ones in the shop had broken in half, needless to say. They had not been looked after particularly well. There was also a big sign saying, get them while you can, because they'll be gone soon, in case, you know, you'd seen it in the media. Speaking of the media, look, there's actually a hashtag. Hashtag Twin Peaks. That's how much they wanted to capitalise on the uh, press of Toblerone. So, what would you expect from this? You would probably expect toothache. Mm, you're probably going to get that. But also, you would expect ah, what we in the trade call Advent calendar style chocolates, just with honey and um, almond bits in, isn't it? Yes, almond and honey nugget. There we are. Or nougat, as you may pronounce it, if you're the sort of person who does that. So... What is it going to be like? Well, I had a Toblerone earlier in the day, so I'm not coming in entirely blind, but I'm also not trying one and then the other immediately, because that's a bit unfair. That's not how it works in real life, is it? Let's bite off either Reckin or Urkel. Uh, 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 oh, there you are. a lot of um, almond and honey nugget bits. Okay. It tastes exactly like Toblerone so far. Oh, wait. Wait. Right. I'll tell you what it is. The bits inside are astonishingly Toberoni. The chocolate is the typical Poundland stuff. Advent calendar, as we say. It seems to be slightly better. I don't know if it's been sweetened further by the stuff in it. Mmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. That is not bad at all. But it isn't quite as good as the Toberone. And frankly, for the same money, if you can get 30 grams less, go for the bloody Toblerone, I would say. Mm. Maybe Mondelez are going to pull Toblerone from Poundland shelves as an act of defiance. I doubt that. They probably sell loads and get loads of money. That's why they do it in the first place. Oh, well. It's all right, but it's kind of pointless. It really is just an advertising gimmick, really. 
I mean, it's not a bad chocolate bar, but you know, it's not cheaper enough in order to really make a difference. Oh well. What I would recommend though is go to your local Poundland, our ones in Norwich have still got loads of these bloody things, buy a couple, because you may find that next year when they're taken off the shelves they may go for like silly money on eBay or something. Chances are they won't, but there is a small chance, so you know, do that. I mean, possibly too many other people will hold on to them, maybe nobody will give a shit, but maybe, just maybe, idiots with more money than sense will pay money for a Twin Peaks thinking it'll be worth money ten years down the line. It won't be. Nobody wants expired chocolate except this YouTube channel. But hell, for the sake of a pound it's worth it, and you know, if it gets near the best before date and it hasn't gained any value, you can bloody eat it, can't you? Subscribe for more.